Welcome to the UMO Coaches Show. I'm Michael Robertson for the Trojan Sports Network, joined today by men's and women's tennis head coach Kevin Coghill. And coach, a really long week, three matches for both the men's and women's teams. Overall, what did you think uh, of the men's and, and women's teams' performance this week? Uh, well, well, let's start with the men. Overall, with the men, um, you know, very pleased going 3-0. Um, doing really well the, the, the last couple of matches. Um, I feel like we started getting rhythm, and uh, I feel like I saw um, us getting better, you know, each, each match. Um, kind of unfortunate that we had to go into spring break getting mm -hmm. better like this, um, but, but, but really pleased. We're really pleased there. With the women, uh, beating a, a five for team that has uh, historically been very good was, was good for us. Um, and then having two tough matches after that, um, you know, uh, it's almost good going on break, I guess, uh, yeah. after having those tough ones. Tough ones, maybe that they'll they'll forget about it and over spring break come back and have have a bit more positive uh, outlook. Let's talk a little bit about the men's team, both against Emmanuel and Erskine, a team that is is relatively young, um, but has seemed to really find some maturity um, for it and kind of seem to be beyond their years. Have you noticed that with the team? Just a, a team that really is kind of led by juniors and, and sophomores and, and even a couple of freshmen as well. How have you seen kind of the team chemistry and the team makeup for a team that's, that's relatively young? Yeah, well, I, I think we're still growing together and tr trying to learn each other. Uh, me as a coach, trying to figure out, um, you know, doubles lineups and trying to figure out how to coach this team better. Um, but at, like I said, I think we've started figuring some things out and um, definitely playing more together, uh, which is something that's very important in team sports. Um, a lot of people don't think about that in tennis, but I think it's very important um, to, to, to play t together as a team. Um, so uh, just pleased that, that this young group has, has grown together and uh, is improving. Before the women's team kind of had to go through some, some attrition early on in the season, some injuries, trying to fight through some of that stuff. Do you guys start to see yourself starting to, I don't want to say right the ship because I know that's such a cliche, sure. but starting to get the full squad back together as, as you kind of really get into the heart of, of the Conference Carolina's schedule? Yeah, you know, well, uh, you know, it was nice to get some people back. Um, unfortunately, we're still missing two starters, and I don't think we're going to get those two starters back. Um, so that can be a little bit depressing as a coach, but um, I, as long as we're doing our best and we're giving ourselves a chance, and I think that's what you see with some of these 5-4 sure. losses sure. and these close matches that, that, that we're losing, I think even with two starters out, I think we're still competing well. And that's what I want to see this team do, uh, just just do their best, and that's always good enough. And I know you talked about this upcoming break. It is quite a long break for really both of the teams. What will their practice and prep preparation look like uh, during some of this, this off time, if you want to call it that? Well, you know, that they will have the spring break off. Uh, what you hope as a coach is that they get out there and, and hit a little bit, continue conditioning, continue hitting the weight room. Um, I know some people are traveling, um, so I, I think they're going to go home for, for, for a little while. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come back on Sunday, uh, the men, and uh, we're going to have a couple of days to prepare for East Carolina. Um, and then uh, the coming up weekend, we're going to uh, go to Hilton Head and play a couple of matches uh, with, with, with both the teams. And you talk about East Carolina, that match coming up on March 14th. How big of an impact does that have on the team playing Division One competition and, and really competing well with them as well? Well, playing East Carolina is, is always very important for us. Uh, it's playing against a, a, a good Division One team uh, that plays at a very high level. And I think that helps us, especially going in playing against tough conference opponents and other uh, good Division Two teams. Um, that gives us that experience playing against a higher level team. Um, so, you know, geographically, we're not located in a great place to play a lot of the high, high level Division II teams. So what we try to do is supplement that with, with uh, by, by playing Division I teams. All right, thank you very much for your time, Coach, and uh, good luck upcoming in some of these upcoming weeks where you'll have some time off, but also some matches coming up at the men's side as well. This has been another edition of the UMO Coaches Show. Exceptional degrees at an exceptional value. That's transforming education. The University of Mount Olive, transforming education, transforming lives. Learn more at umo.edu. That's umo.edu.